Hey everybody, Joanne with Journaling Adventures. I just finished um, my spooky Halloween journal that was a request. Um, if it doesn't sell, you're welcome to purchase it. Um, her name, and it is kind of spooky, Annie Mary. And legend is, and it's supposed to be a true story, that a little girl in 1886 was buried in a coma and they found scratch marks on the coffin. So this is Annie Mary and inside this little bag right here, there is a glove, a lace sleeve, an old skeleton key and an arm that has dirt marks on the fingernails. So these are little clues and little things that she wants to tell us. I think that um, she wants to have some justice in this situation. But anyway, that's what this is. There's a little uh, dangle right here with the bag. And um, this is velvet ribbon. Let me open it up. Okay. It's velvet ribbon. There's several layers of lace everywhere. The side has some black flowers. There's black flowers here, here. Here's a square nail, like a coffin nail. Um, Corrugated cardboard for the frame. I've got a little bit of um, those flakes to, that I put right here. And a wooden bat with some bling for eyes. And all of this lace kind of overflows. And then there's also this trim that's on the front and on the back. We've got some fun on the back. So there's the beginning of her. And I don't know what this is. Annie Mary. Okay. You open it up. And right here is um, a pocket that is a bat. And there's a cat in here, a postcard, um, just different things that are mystical type things. Another flower up here with the bling that matches the bat's eyes. Here's Annie Mary again, and got a couple blings on both sides of this clip. And on in here is a, it's actually a uh, clipboard that's covered on both sides with lots of paper. And that is on there. To write on and there's lots of let me see there's lots of different old paper in here this is um, an old horoscope paper from I'm not sure what the date is on here uh, 1908 lots of pretty paper in here lots of old paper here's an old page here not sure what the date is on that. Got some um, fabric trim right here. These papers were made by um, a friend of mine in a swap group and she actually um, dyed them with a plastic tablecloth. So these really pretty papers came out of here. Dictionary page. This is a, just a really fun little Halloween story. Some more of that one. Here's another pocket and inside the pocket we have all different kinds. Here's a check to from 1907. Some clothing, just different little tickets. Um, <laughs> you know, all of these things you can write on the back of them and that's what the purpose of them are, you know, to um, a map and inside this map we have a bunch more little things to write on that are Halloween related. 
this is a this is clipped on and there's this pretty little gem um but there's two pictures and places to write right here but you can actually change out the pictures if you wanted to um, there's things you can do in here. You can move things around. You don't have to keep it the way it is. Um, this is a uh, just a belly band, and there's also more things inside there, and a little skeleton man, and he goes right here. This says rip. Um, it has a graveyard, and inside here are some cards of some people that might be in that, um, there's a little envelope here, and here's some cards of some people that might be in that graveyard. So those are in there. Pretty paper. Some more trim. Some more of Anna Marie, Mary, Anna Mary. Um, 1951, I think, is this one. Very, very old piece of paper here. There's a, a pretty cat um, painting. We have a tag right here. The tag opens up into a little envelope, and there's more little things in there to write on. I think that's all I put in there, yeah. more old old sheets this is the center of the book we've got the sun and the moon this says night this says moon the definitions some more little pieces of things to write on inside this little oops, check and this is just a scrappy place to write. You can take it off if you want to or leave it on there, whatever you want to do. But it's just places to write. Some little trim right here. Here we have a key. And these are. this is a very old postcard here. Um, London 1910 and then these are some other postcards that you can write on or do whatever you want to with them but they're clipped on there and then here we have another page with a pocket and little tags beware um, Edgar Allan Poe, a witch that's stuck in there. Mm, I'm going to have to get her out. Um, a cat. Some ledger paper. Some more map. Some more. And this is a little booklet. This is uh, a napkin of spider webs. And a place to write. It's got a little spider up there. Lots of places to write and do what you want to do in here. I don't like to completely fill them up. I like to have room for you to do what you want to do. Um, this is just a, it's a little place to write. This is a, uh, do. I don't know. It's old though. 1909 I think it says. This is just stenciled and there's the back and then on the very back we have um, another tag um, pocket and this is painted by me. Got a little um, broom right here and it says here um, do-it-yourself broom care. There's witch, some paper to write it on, um, some little B and W tags and um, this and poison, um, and this is all hand painted paper. So that's all on the back right there. And this is some stuff that um, somebody sent me in a swap, and 
I'm telling you, it's it's the softest. Oh, I love feeling this stuff. And I just said, you know, I got to use it. So I just stuck it in the middle there. Um, but that is Annie Mary. And um, I think she turned out fairly good. And I like the fact, um, as um, my friend Jen said, that we're keeping her immortal, keeping her alive, her 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 legend, um, the legend of Annie Mary, 1886. So, anyway, hope you like it. And the next one, I'm going to do it more of a fun Halloween. Thanks for watching. Bye.